TV's Good Life shows off the good things happening right here in our own backyards. It's a local show featuring local artists. It's all about family, tradition, about working hard and playing harder. It's all local every weekday morning. Local features that revolve around your life. NTV's Good Life on NTV. <laughs> we are so happy to be back. Good morning, friends. It's good to see you. What's that guy's name? Um... Oh, oh, who am I talking about? I don't even know what you, I, what's that guy's name. There's plenty of guys out there oh. in the world. Bob, Dick, Tom, Harry, <laughs> oh. Larry. You know who I'm talking about. He what? was the roommate of the famous guy that he, that got accused of um, killing his wife and didn't. O.J. Simpson, his roommate. Who was that housemate? Who am I talking He's about? He's blonde hair. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I should know uh, him because I interviewed yeah, him yeah, once yeah. before. Oh, don't do that to me. Don't do that to me. Oh, he had a really funny name. Yeah. Why can't I think of it? Anyways, it, that you jumped in on the middle of a conversation. I'll, we'll tell you later. We apologize. But what was his name? Animals are great. Let's what? Go, let's go there. Whose name? How are your animals? My animals are yeah. good. Okay. Well, Speaking of animals, can I tell you a great little story from the weekend? Um, went to Denver for the weekend, driving home, stopped. Um, the boys had to get something. They stopped at a Dairy Queen in somewhere in Colorado. I don't know where we were. Right. No. But I walked outside, and the car window of someone's car was down, and what was in the back seat? A puppy? A huge puppy dog named Chip. And it was, I think, a mountain, uh, Bernie's mountain okay. dog. Ooh, yeah. And so I said to the lady sitting in the front seat, I go, I love your dog. He's beautiful. And she goes, really? I said, yes. And so we just, we sat there, or I, she sat there, and I stood there and talked for like 20 minutes waiting for the guys inside to come out. And... Uh, it ends up that she has family in Scotts Bluff. Her name is Bonnie from Brush, Colorado. She nice. said she was going to stream today to watch nice. our show. So, Bonnie, here's a hello to you um, and to Chip, the sweet I dog. I see Chip. Huh? Send oh, pictures, Bonnie, yes. please. Go to our Facebook page, NTV's Good Life. Um, you can like us, and then that way, because I didn't get her. She told me her last name. But anyway, she has family in, in Scotts Bluff, I believe. And, you know, very I was just nice. like, it is a small world. It is a very small so world. So I said I would say hello to Chip today. Nice. Speaking of yep. dog. Yes. Kato. And the person we were speaking of with the you long. You were speaking of. Kato Caitlin. Kato Caitlin. 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 K A E. Yeah, he was, anyways, yeah. why were we talking about him? I don't know. Because he reminded us of someone that we've had on the show before. Yeah, very but nice. I don't And I want to give a shout out, if I may. Yes, because I just gave one to Bonnie for brush. Ellie girl to the sweetest neighbor neighbor oh. girl ever. Oh, I love sweet little Sweet oh, Ellie. look at Happy her. Happy birthday, Ellie Weatherwax. Her and Happy Jalen are birthday. like besties. What a cute little girl. Yeah, that's her good friend. That's her mom. Yes. Big Husker fans. Sweet, sweet, sweet gal. She turns oh, look 10. look at her. Happy birthday, And that's sweet Missy. Girl. That's a fair, I think. So anyway, <laughs> Ellie, enjoy your birthday week. Celebrate big. I know you got big plans because I asked her yesterday. I go, what's your plans yes, for your birthday? Eat so cake. They probably did eat cake. So happy birthday, Ellie. Enjoy your day. Yes, enjoy your day. Even though it's kind of rainy and cloudy out, we're going to cheer it up a little bit later. Are with we some, really? With some, we're going to dig our hands into some dirt, some fresh dirt. and She's already been digging. Yeah, and we're looking at some bright flowers singing. And we're going to keep telling you the sun is right around the corner. Yeah. Someday. Well, you're right, gritting your I'm getting teeth. There. I'm kind of nervous. Get, yeah, and you know, speaking of weather and everything, um, we still have time to talk, don't we? We got all the time. The okay. World, girl, yeah, we need. Yeah, gosh, we just need to keep praying for our neighbors in Kansas oh. City and all over yeah. the place with these tornadoes. Well, Ohio. I know Ohio, and I mean, it's there was actually a tornado um, warning in New York City last night because it came up, popped up on my phone, and um, New York City never gets tornadoes. So to hear a, a tornado um, alarm. For New York City, it's just kind of like I'm trying to turn my alarm off. Speaking of alarms, I mean that's crazy. You so, have to set alarms too. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. so all of those who, people who have you know been struggling through this weather, um, you know, when someone made a good point on Facebook, you know, and I and I felt guilty of it because of the hail that we got the other night. Oh. I thought, 
first thing I said, oh my gosh, there goes my flowers and my plants. We need to stop thinking about, I need to stop thinking about my flowers and my plants and start praying for our farmers mm -hmm. because I was, someone yesterday told me that um, she heard that farmers are going to be planting for the third time. Yep, because like, it, how do it got you washed out. Yeah. This last rain yes. washed a lot of people out. Well, so, friends of really, ours that live in Ohio just started planting. Yep. Like See? Yeah. Sunday night. I saw pictures on Facebook. They oh, just goodness. started planting. When, when is planting season usually done? By the end of April? Well, it's you, well, it starts middle to the end of April, but it, okay. most of it's usually done by now. And some wow. people are done, but yeah. So it, first, there may uh, be replanting. I couldn't. Going on. I couldn't be married to a farmer. You got you farm folk are amazing hard workers so can i do today's facebook yes, question yes let's see what you got it's not bit. super exciting you want to know why it's not super exciting because we we've been off for like yeah and <laughs> so is refreshed. my brain so two words tomato juice thumbs up thumbs down sometimes um grace ann oliver says thumbs up in beer thumbs down by itself linda says thumbs up kathy likes v8 yeah, I, I can drink that. Brenda John kind of is up and down. Karen said thumbs up. Beth Fisher said thumbs up. Tracy Ludicky does not like it. Um, Gloria Warning, I like to cook with it, but not to drink on its own. Oh, Barbara said too. yes in beer, goulash, chili, and lots of other foods. Charity says in chili it's okay. Don Hag gives it three thumbs up. Dana said thumbs up. Um, Mary says, yum. So let us know. And yeah. I don't know why tomato, I know why I picked tomato juice because Illyria Gardens is mm -hmm. in and I was like, I want to like tomatoes. Then I was drinking, oh, anyway, okay. don't worry how my okay. mind works, but that's how I got to tomato yeah. juice, thumbs up. Once thumbs in a down. while I can, I, I have a hankering for tomato juice. I don't know where that comes from. Maybe it was because I wanted Once a grilled a cheese sandwich. Cause don't you there always you have go. to have, that's tomato yes, soup. Yes, tomato soup, yes. Anyway. We have got a great show on tap for you today. We certainly do. What's coming up today, you ask? Lots. Ask. We're going to be talking with uh, Larry Gardens, bringing in some sunshine just for you. And we're going to learn more about Carney's Heritage Day. That and so much more today on NTV's Good Life.